Yesterday, the euro and the British pound managed to recover from a major sell-off as a part of bullish correction. The European currency was supported by upbeat data on German factory orders, which jumped by 8.9% in December 2023. Eurozone retail sales fell by 1.1% month on month in the final month of the last year, which enables the European Central Bank to keep interest rates steady but remain cautious. Yesterday, ECB board member Isabel Schnabel said that the regulators should be patient before easing interest rates. She stressed that inflation risks remain elevated. Like many Fed officials, ECB rate setters expressed the need to keep monetary policy unchanged until they see convincing evidence that developments in underlying inflation are consistent with headline inflation returning to the 2% target in a sustained and timely manner. The Bank of England also shares this view. Against this background, the US dollar remains strong. Today's macroeconomic calendar is bereft of any important news releases. It only includes data on trade balance in France, British house prices and Italian retail sales. The US is due to report on trade balance crude oil inventories and consumer credit. However, these reports are of secondary importance to forex market participants. Thus, the euro and the pound sterling may well extend gains as a part of a bullish correction. However, the higher the risky assets go, the more pressure they will come under. Therefore, one should be careful with long positions. Traders may take notice of speeches by Richmond Fed President Thomas Bakken and Boston Fed President Susan Collins. Bank of England Deputy Governor Sarah Breeden is also set to speak today. Most likely, the officials will stick to the policies adopted at recent central bank meetings. Now let's move on to technical analysis. According to the one-hour euro-dollar pair chart, the level of 1.0755 acts as the middle line of the sideways channel. A decline followed by a false breakout at this mark will create a buy signal driving the euro up to 1.0785. If the price breaks through and consolidates above this level, the European currency will extend gains, heading for 1.0816. At this level, I recommend going short on the rebound to catch an intraday correction of 25-30 pips. Short positions at 1.0785 can be considered amid a false breakout. In the Burr case scenario, if the price breaks below 1.0755 and tests it from the bottom up, the euro will dip to 1.0725. Its breakout will increase downward pressure with the euro dollar pair tumbling to 1.0696 and probably 1.0667. At these levels, it would be possible to go long on a rebound, counting on an intraday correction of 25 30 pips. Going long at 1.0725 and 1.0755 will be relevant only in the event of a false breakout. Speaking of the British pound, it has erased most of its early losses. Now, pools need to prove their strength. A false breakout at 1.2593 amid the lack of important statistics will create a strong buy signal, thus pushing sterling up to 1.2625. If the price breaks above this level and tests it from the top down, the way to 1.2655 will open. At this mark, traders are recommended to go short on the rebound to catch an intraday correction of 25-30 pips. Short positions at 1.2625 can be opened amid a false breakout. Also, one can sell the pair if the price returns below 1.2593 and test it from the bottom up. In this case, the British currency will slide to 1.2558 and even 1.2519. At the level of 1.2519, it would be wise to go long on a rebound in the hope of a 30-35 pip correction. Log positions at 1.2519 can be opened only amid a false breakout. Best of luck.